In this film I'm going to show you how to assemble a 2 over 2 chest of drawers. Open your box and use the cardboard packaging for a base to work on. Always check the contents of your box to make sure all the components are there. In each unit there is an assembly guide. On the assembly guide is a helpline telephone number in case there is any parts missing or damaged. At this stage of assembly you do not require the drawer components so I'll take those out of the pack and put them to one side. If you lay your end panels out like this, you have a right hand end panel and a left hand end panel. I know this is a right hand end panel because the holes for the front plinth are towards the bottom. All my assembly fittings are in the cardboard foldy that was at the bottom of your box. To keep all my assembly fittings together, I'm going to pour them into the cardboard box. Each end panel requires six 8mm dowels and six metal dowels. You screw the metal dowels into the 5mm holes provided. Do not over tighten the metal dowels into the chipboard. So that's the metal dowels. I'm now going to put my wooden dowels in. If it's difficult to push the wooden dowels in, tap them until the sound changes. That's far enough. If you hit it too hard now, you could punch that through. The next stage I'm going to do is fit the runners to my unit. The runners come in sets and they are labelled C, R and C, L. Each drawer runner is secured to the unit using two 5mm Euro screws. You position your runner using the second hole behind the nylon wheel. If in any doubt to which runner you are fitting, the runner always drops down towards the base of the unit if you fit it on the correct side. To complete the side you need to fit another two runners. When you fitted your runner there should be a row of three holes above it. These holes are for your soft close mechanism. I fitted my drawer runners to both the left and the right hand end panels. I'm now going to fit my soft close mechanisms. The soft close mechanisms are labelled left and right. Again using the 5mm Euro screws, you need three per soft close mechanism. The last set of runners and the last set of soft closers need to be fitted to the drawer rail. Your drawer rail has five holes in it. The two bottom holes are for your drawer runner, the three top holes are for your soft close mechanism and the front of your drawer rail has been edged with the corresponding colour of your unit. In this case it's oak. To make sure I've got the right drawer runner on the right side it always drops down towards the back. Again using the second hole behind your nylon wheel, fix it into position and taking the correct soft close mechanism fix this at the same time before you turn it over and repeat for the other side. That's my drawer rail completed. I'm now ready to start assembling the unit. This is your plinth fixing block. Carefully tap it into position in one of the plinths. The cams we use have a part removed from the base, so if you forget to put one in, you can still insert it without having to take the unit apart. So I just take my cam now slide it into position, I tighten that up like that. Taking the plinth that I've just put my plinth fixing block into, I position that like this, taking another cam I insert it into here and tighten it up. Once I've done that 
I then tighten up the screw in the plinth fixing block. Each cam has an arrow on it. This arrow should always point to the outside edge when you first insert it into its hole. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay, now taking my second side, drop it into position. At this point, I'm going to fit the draw rail to the centre of the unit using four screws provided. The solid top for this unit is sold separately by B&Q. The last thing to do before you assemble your drawers is to fit your back panel. You unfold it and then sliding it into the grooves in the side of the unit, slide it down like that. Ten dome head screws have been provided to fix your back panel into position. The top edge of your back can be used to make sure your unit is square. Fix one side first like this. Then go along your unit and making sure that the back panel is the same all the way along. That squares your unit up. Put the last one in the top and then repeat for the bottom. The pack contains four panel protectors. You put two on the underside of each end panel. That's the unit assembled. The next stage is to assemble the drawers. Each drawer assembly requires two drawer sides, a left and a right, a drawer back, a drawer base, a left and a right drawer runner, four fixing screws, two soft close catches, two metal dowels and two 12mm cams. It doesn't matter if you're assembling the small top drawer or the large bottom drawer, the components you require are the same. Assembling your drawer on a flat surface, and in this instance I'm using the drawer base, keep your groove down and take in the corresponding back panel Again, making sure that the groove is down, join the two parts together like this, and then using two of the assembly screws, join the two parts together. Repeat for the other side. Slide your draw base in at this stage. The draw fronts aren't supplied by Norboard, and they do not come within the pack. They have to be purchased separately. But you take your drawer front and the two metal dowels, screw them into the 5mm holes in the front here. Repeat for this side. Put your cams into the holes on the side of your drawer, ensuring that the arrow is pointing up towards the outside edge. I now fit the drawer front into position before I can put my drawer runners on and my soft close catches. Tap it down, tighten the cams up, one on either side, like that. Turn the drawer onto its front and taking the two drawer runners, you fit one to this side, ensuring that the wheel is towards the back of the drawer and you fit one to this side, again making sure that the wheel is towards the back of the drawer. Using the screws provided, put them into the holes on the side, and it's two screws per drawer runner. If you fit these with the nylon wheel towards the front of the drawer, the drawer will not go into the unit. It goes into the unit like this. To make the soft close mechanism work, you take the two soft close catches and fitting one on either side in the pre-drilled holes in your drawer side using the little screws provided, making sure that this lug is pointing towards the bottom of the drawer. Before you insert your drawer, make sure that the soft closers are pulled forward. 
like that on both sides. You insert your drawer, a slight down angle, making sure that the two wheels go over each other, one on either side, lift it up and slide it in. To finish your unit, you will need to repeat that for the other three drawers. That is the two over two chest fitted with its drawers. To remove the drawers, you simply pull them forward, you lift it up, pull it forward a bit more, and then drop it down very slightly and lift, and that's how the drawer comes out. The chests that come with the modular bedroom range do not come with individual tops. You purchase the tops separately from B&Q.